is it that we're doing down here? This place is kind of huge. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know why it scared me. And now for our feature presentation. Hey everyone, Mix here, and welcome to Lorraine. Now, in this gothic-style horror game, we follow a diabolical widow whose lust for blood leads her to her next victim, her next kill, which, of course, is very dark, sure, but you gotta admit that every now and then, it's kind of fun to root for the antagonist. Plus, this story, mixed with this gothic-style atmosphere, it seems kind of fitting, right? Almost like a very dark Tim Burton film. That said, I am very curious and very intrigued to see what this is all about, so let's not waste another minute, and let's get to it. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like very much like the PS1 graphics, but also with PS1 cutscenes. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Farewell then. Now she's saying goodbye to her husband. It is time we part ways in this world. I have to. I have to speak to the Undertaker. Okay. That would be the Undertaker over there now, wouldn't it? Can I talk to the uh, other town's folk here? No, I suppose not. Alright. How about you fine ladies? Oh, I could. Darlene and I are deeply sorry for the loss, for your loss, Lorraine. Thank you, Carlene. He was a good man. Haha! <laughs> Lorraine's like, N -n -n not so much. So, um... Here's some funeral confectionery to cheer you up. Oh, thank you. Funeral confectionery? What, what is that? It's like an offering. A pungent smell of alcohol hits you as you approach the Undertaker. Oh, he's drunk. Good morning, miss. I met Mrs. Barker. Serious condolences. I'm sorry to tell you that due to the new ordinances, I would have to unload your husband's body from the coffin into the mass grave. Oh. What? <laughs> I know, but listen up. The guard on duty today is a buddy of mine who I know very well. And I know he has a thing for young desperate damsels. Maybe with a little bit of persuasion, I'll talk to him. Splendid. Bring me a permit and I'll take him downstairs. <laughs> What an odd game. That would be my husband in this box, right? In this coffin? I said box. <laughs> Guard, am I talking to you? Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I have been told that because of the new ordinances, I cannot regularly bury my husband. Indeed, due to the disease that is spreading, only those in possession of a permit can bury regularly. And there's no way poor little me can get a permit? That would be no. <laughs> I might have a permit in one of my pockets. I might also have the severe need to take a snifter. A snifter? What is that, like a bribe? I'll see what I can do. What the hell is a snifter? Is there anyone else around here? Oh, just like a little boy. Timothy, would you like a delicious, scrumptious... Sweet treat. Y yes ma'am. But you can have it only if you give me the green juice. Deal ma'am. Here you go then. Okay, oh absinthe. I'm guessing that's what the guard meant by snifter. You wanted some of the alcohol. Is that a real cat? It is. The statue of a... Uh, Me melancholic crying angel fitting oh okay anyways here you go sir here's your snifter ma'am so I happen to have a little bottle of green fairy for a guard in need of a drink well well 
and I happen to have a burial permit for a widow in need. Here you go. Thank you, and don't tell anyone. And condolences. Thank you. Burial permit. Excellent. All right now we talk to. Wait. You feel a pang in your stomach. The little scene with the guard disgusted you. But at least he will still have dignity in his death. Alright, let's talk to the Undertaker here. Get him the permit. Here's the permit. Oh. Well, pay your last respects, say your last goodbyes, and let's get over with. Alright. Pay your respects. I should at least have some flowers. Okay. Let's get some flowers. Violets. I should have brought some flowers, but these should be fine too. Alright. Got me the flowers. Goodbye. I admit, dude, this is kind of cool. I do like that this game has uh, cutscenes. Seems like a good, a good balance, right? Is she feeling the guilt? The shame? You're no mere widow, you are a black widow! The day after. Okay. It's a nice place, huh? Look at yourself? Yeah. Darn it. I look like as if I hadn't slept in a month. What other rooms do we have? It's my bedroom? Yes, it is. Okay, so I believe the game wants us to go downstairs. Let's proceed. that we're doing down here. This place is kind of huge. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know why it scared me. <laughs> a rat. Nasty little creature. <laughs> I have to find a way to get rid of that scrawl. God, the tiniest little thing just got me. I might find something useful to create a trap in the basement. And maybe something to use as bait in the kitchen. Okay. Well, it seems like there's something in here. This might be the perfect spot to set up a trap. Okay. Oh. The piece of cheese has a foul odor. Odor. Maybe it, uh, it is what lured the rat inside. It might be useful. Alright, got the cheese. And... She said to... Go to the basement, right? Ah, rusty old and dented. This cage might be the perfect trap. Okay. So we got what's needed. Now we just set the trap. It's a pretty easy game, gotta admit. Done. I just need some bait now. Wait, I, I have the bait, the cheese. An engineering marvel. There we go, yeah, there. And now we wait. Perhaps it would be wise to step away for a minute. Yeah, you don't want to just... Psychopath, just waiting for your victim. You hear a metallic clanging sound. That was fast. Got you, you little bugger. Ah, that's what you get. I feel lightheaded. Damn corset. I need to lie down on the sofa for a moment. I'll take care of you later, Mr. Rat. Alright. I'll lie down on the sofa. Just a second. What in the hell? What is this, like, uh... A Christmas carol? 
I suppose that wasn't a ghost, huh? It was just someone that actually died. You let out an eerie, piercing cry. Lorraine. Oh, that's that's the husband. Oh my! Don't look at me. How is it? I said, don't look. Help me. Tell me, is it really you? Yes. How? Believe me, it's me. It's really me. But, just help me, will you? I'll do. I need clothes. Yes. Yeah, you have clothes, buddy. I guess you want some clean clothes. Alright, let's head upstairs. Oh, there's so many questions here. I'm trying to... Uh, okay, yeah. It's not where I'm supposed to be. I'm surprised that, you know, she's not the least bit uh, freaked out. These are the cleanest. Alright. So he just wanted some clean clothes. Get him out of those dirty rags. Oh, where's he gone to now? Oh, he's eating the rat. Yeah, that's what you want to see. One week later. Very odd game. Okay, so my guess is that we're in the, in town or, you know, in the village, the main square, whatever you want to call it. And then a night of pest control. Maybe I should look for something bigger than the usual rats. Something that lasts more than one day. Oh, she's... I understand the story now. So she's got a zombie husband now who needs to feed. And so she needs to get victims so that he can... Uh, live off, off live off those corpses. Maybe something that meows. Snatch some cats. Oh, this is so dark. There was one that just passed by us, but yeah, I suppose that's first place to start. Yeah, there's one. Kidnap here, kitty, kitty. In the bag. Oh my god. Cat bag. Okay, how many of these cats do I need to actually capture? The cat gets nervous. Hush, kitty. You won't have to suffer much longer. <laughs> God. What's this? It's like the whole town is asleep? Seems like it, right? Ah, there's another one. It would be nice if the game told us like how many cats we actually have to kidnap. Puss puss. Come in here. Two cats bag. <laughs> oh. I'd rather avoid attracting the guards' attention. Better stay away from them. All right. The cats start fighting? Yeah, I can imagine. Shut up! I swear to God, if I get caught because of you nasty cats, perhaps one more should suffice. Okay. Good that she let us know how many right then and there. Yeah, I gotta say that, you know, so far this game is rather good. You know, which is a shame that this game isn't too long, at least I don't think it is. I believe the game is only supposed to be like a half an hour long. Come on, you're the only one left. Done. Bag full of cats. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny. The, the cats are getting really aggressive. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Alright, where do we go now? Oh. We go to a cutscene.
Oh my god! Three weeks later, that was nasty. That was freaking nasty, dude. Yeah, it really does seem like she's feeding her boyfriend these corpses. The door is locked. So, my dear Lorraine, why don't you come here and tell me a few things? You seem to be doing very well. I would say yes. It's as if my husband's always watching over me. Yes, yes, it's always like this. So, where's the tea? It's coming. Okay, let's get the undertaker some good old tea. I'm guessing he knows what's going on. Okay. Yep. <laughs> this was expected, right? Like, we've now graduated to the to, to human meat. Um, I guess we're not actually making him tea, right? We're just gonna give him the old... The old killeroo. <laughs> Don't let him escape. He's got him stairs. Hello. Oh, I kind of missed that dialogue there. I pilot find him and kill him. Where are you? He's almost done. Jesus. Guessing he's down here. Yes, he is. Nowhere to hide now, sir. You're mine. Please. Oh, you have a family. So do I. Delightful. Did I get him? Oh. Right here. Why are you doing this? I must. What in tarnation? I never had to make uh had to make so much mess. The knocking gets in insistent. Shit. Uh, we're gonna answer the door, or we're gonna hide the body. I would assume we'll hide the body first, but if this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. Hello. Oh my God, it's a guard, Mrs. Barker. We were called by the neighbors because of the loud commotion. Fuck. I'm sorry. A rat got in, got in, and I panicked. And the male screams. I do not know what you're talking about. Can I come in? Shit. Just a second. I'm extremely unkempt. Oh, yeah. I need to hide the body and also, I don't know, <laughs> clean the whole house? Immediately. I need a bag. A bag. Where do you find a bag? In the basement again? Oh, there we go. Quick, the body. This is like a random body bag in the basement. Or maybe she had it prepped up. Maybe, is this her first body? I don't know. The knocking gets very insistent. Quick! I mean, yeah, you could hide the body, but what about all the blood that's just all around? Unless she says like, oh yeah, uh, big rats. But I got them all. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. She cut. Oh, is this how the game ends? Is she gonna die right here? Is that the husband? Or is that the undertaker? That's gotta be the husband, right? And Lorraine is dead. Interesting. Huh. Well, is that it? 
That is it, yes? Yeah, that's it. Wow, well, you know what? I gotta say that um, I enjoy the majority of this game, but I kind of feel like that ending right there didn't really stick the landing. And if anything, I feel like it was almost rushed. Um, I, I, I would have loved to see, you know, this go just a little bit longer and maybe she gets away with all of this murder because, you know, the game progresses with her, you know, um, feeding her husband, you know, first a rat, then cats, and now humans. But I don't even think she got to feed him any humans. I mean, the Undertaker was still in that body bag and it looked like the husband just went, went for the kill for Lorraine here. Um, it would have been interesting too just to see the interaction between her and the guard as the guard enters the blood soaking home of hers. I mean, all of this uh, would have been really interesting if it would have had uh, progressed a little bit more. But hey, maybe this developer here um, has plans for the future with this project or maybe uh, this developer is going to kind of use the same kind of concept and use it for future projects. I think that you know, this concept right here definitely has a lot of potential. And I think this developer here has a lot of talent, a lot of skill, and it's perfectly shown in this very short um, uh, experience right here, you know, and I gotta say that I am a huge fan of everything that I've seen. Um, this gothic style, the music, the audio, and these little cutscenes that really bring me back to old school PS1 games where uh, you're playing in the very pixelated um, gameplay, but then you're given these cutscenes that are very much in almost like high def. So. Um, there you guys have it. That was Lorraine. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this whole experience. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, be sure to check the link in the description down below. That will lead you straight to the game page. And please, please support this developer. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to smash that like in if you're new to the channel. Please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video. And that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you all so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL, and I will see you in the next video.